Hello, El Paso. I'm Ricky Saias. Flying high and expanding its wings, the El Paso International Airport is undergoing some major changes that will continue to jet El Paso forward. A groundbreaking ceremony by airport officials and city leaders officially started construction of the Terminal Landscape Architectural Lighting Project. That means the area outside the airport will be upgraded, making it more welcoming to visitors. Here's a rendering of that project. Renovations include new landscaping, walking paths and lighting improvements starting from Montana and Airway along the terminal loop. Construction includes sidewalks and a new plaza that will provide better connectivity with the terminal and surrounding hotels and restaurants. City leaders say the renovations will create a wow factor for the nearly 3 million passengers that visit each year. Well, I think that overall in terms of it's just taking pride into the community. You know, we always think of the airport as a gateway um, to our city and it can be the first or last impression of you know, visitors that coming through. As we first told you, part of the project includes public art underneath the overpass on Airway. The El Paso Passage, as it's called, is almost finished and it will light up at night. It's part of the major renovation project at the airport that will cost about $10 million. It's expected to be complete in 2019. The airport is also celebrating 90 years in El Paso. Plans are in the works for a large-scale celebration on September 8th. The airport first opened in 1928 with one hangar in northeast El Paso on Fred Wilson and Railroad Drive. It moved to its current location in 1936. El Paso has changed so much since then. In recent years, the airport has expanded its nonstop flights. Today, it has 15 nonstop flights to 13 cities. More on the celebration will be posted in the coming days on the city and airport website. Well, now is the time to register to become a vendor for the 2018 Cooperative Purchasing Expo put together by the city's Purchasing and Strategic Sourcing Department. Online registration is open for exhibitors. This year, vendors will be able to select a booth location. The expo is an opportunity for area businesses to network and learn how to participate in cooperative contracts used by governmental agencies. For more info, click on the Cooperative Purchasing Expo banner on the Purchasing and Strategic Sourcing website. Well, if art is more of your thing, then now is also the time to be part of Chalk the Block. The Museums and Cultural Affairs Department has opened registration for artists and vendors to participate in the city's largest public arts festival. Registration is open online until August 27th. This year, Chalk the Block will take place October 12th through the 14th. Hola, soy Laura. El the city's virtual information officer now speaks Spanish. Ask Laura is an interactive avatar that answers frequently asked questions from residents or business owners on city matters. The avatar is available on the tax office, one-stop shop, and purchasing websites. Additional languages will be added in the future to reflect the diversity of our community. It's another way the city continues to improve customer service. The El Paso streetcar is now rolling through downtown. Sun Metro began training operators during the day. City TV crews recorded the streetcar as it made its way through Kansas near City Hall and Santa Fe near the ballpark. It's the first time street operators share the road with drivers during the day. You can expect more testing in the coming weeks. Drivers are learning how to operate the cars along the route and through traffic. The public won't be able to ride those streetcars until later this year. In other city happenings, the Segundo Barrio now has a new recreational facility. The Parks and Recreation Department and City Representative Sissy Lizarraga held a grand opening for two futsal courts on the Boys Club Park on Florence. Community Development Block Grant funds paid for the courts to be added to the park. People we spoke with in the area say it's a great addition to the neighborhood. No, I think it's a beautiful feel. I think this feel is gonna like help the help people. Es muy emocionante, la verdad. Le pedimos a la ciudad que siga haciendo cosas así. Futsal is similar to soccer, although it's played with five players on a small court. Now, redeveloping parks is just another way the city is committed to improving El Paso's quality of place. Meanwhile, residents in a South Central neighborhood learned about the services provided by the city of El Paso. City Representative Cassandra Hernandez and various city departments hosted a block party at the Seville Recreation Center. The community outreach event gave neighbors a chance to learn more about services available to them. This is in direct response to the needs of the community. They said that, you know, we're, we haven't really done a good job at engaging with the community, telling them what we have to offer. And we have so many great services, not only at the city of El Paso, but with these great nonprofits. We are here to, to promote their quality of life and to be a, a better resource for them. And so that's the intent of El Paso Police, Fire and other city departments and various organizations took part in festivities. 
Animal Services is gearing up for one of its biggest pet adoption events of the year. The department is eliminating adoption fees in hopes of clearing the kennels. On Saturday, August 18th, Animal Services will take part in the National Clear the Shelters Adoption Campaign. The campaign is aimed at finding as many permanent homes for shelter pets. Last year's event resulted in more than 240 pet adoptions. Animal Services is encouraging the community to adopt and help them continue their efforts to become a no-kill community. And that's going to do it for us on this edition of Your City in 5. Remember to keep up to date with all things that are happening in the city by visiting epconnect.today. We're also on social media. And of course, you can catch us on City TV. Until next time, I'm Ricky Saias for Your City in 5.